Hi guys, so welcome back first and foremost. I know that um, I just put up my where I've been a life update video and it was very long. Props to you if you got through it. I couldn't get through it when I was filming it or editing it so props to you. But uh, I wanted to do an updated video of all of Amora's service dog gear. So her vest, her patches, her collars, her leashes, all of that fun jazz. She wants to come in this video. He wants to, do you want to say hi? Will you come here? Oh, look at the face. Okay, this is, you're just going to overheat me. Can you back up, please? Go away, go away. Ooh. When you have a German Shepherd. Okay. Thanks. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about this setup. The sun's going down right now. It's almost sunset. But this is kind of what we have to work with. And they're going to want to play in the background, of course. So I'll try to keep them quiet. But I will go ahead and... Can you say something? Just Lem, please. Lem. Thank you. Okay, let's get this before I ramble on for a million and a half years. So let's start with the one that people always ask me about, which is her vest. So this is a vest from One Tigress, and I will link everything as if I can in the description below so you guys can go buy it if you so please. But this is her vest. It is black and all of the side panels, both side panels and the down panel are all Velcro. So all of that is Velcro. It comes with two side pouches with zippers that go all the way in as such. Um, they're not very deep pockets, so they can't hold a whole lot. If you want something that holds more, I would recommend getting side pouches, which I may in the future, but as of right now, there's nothing really that she needs to carry. Um, it also comes with two D-rings at the top here um, to clip on a pull strap or pull handle or mobility handle, a brace handle, all of that. Or if you have extras like I do, like I have a poop bag holder and then a do not pet little sign that a friend of mine made. And I have seen your guys' comments on the video of uh, a man distracts my service dog when I had Karame. I used to clip her leash to her vest harness, um, which I was very ignorant at the time when I had Karame. I was very new to the service dog world. I didn't do everything right. I even bought one of the fake ID tags because I thought that's what you're supposed to do. I then got my money back because I found out they were completely illegal. But I was very ignorant, had no idea what I was doing. I think we all know the very first time we were introduced to the service dog world and how completely confusing it was. So that's, um, I don't, I keep her, um, when she's not wearing her vest, this is her main leash. It's just a hand leash. Um, I keep it clipped to this when she's not wearing it because otherwise I lose it um, But this does this does clip to her collar When she's wearing it. I forget how out of breath I get um, This vest is also very hairy because she is half husky and that's just the life I live um, But the front comes with I believe you can remove this if you really want to by cutting it So you don't have to have this on. I don't think there's a way to slip it off, but it is a piece of cloth um, on the front strap where their where their chest is um, to provide a little bit of comfort. It is mesh on the back, so it's pretty breathable. Uh, the only downside about this vest is it is black, and I live in the desert, and black gets hot. But otherwise, it fits really well. She wears a size large, and um, I can put her dimensions down in the description box as well, so you can kind of compare your dogs and try and see what size might work. They do also have size charts on the website. Um, and then it has an adjustable belly strap. The chest strap is also adjustable. Um, this is pretty similar to the One Tigress one I had for Karame. I just hit myself in the face. If you've seen that service dog gear video, uh, she used that for quite a while until Amora chewed it up and it was no longer useful because it was in bits and pieces. 
because she was a horrible puppy, but she's better now. She's completely wonderful now. Uh, and I can kind of show you guys the patches that I have. And I will, um, most of these are from an Etsy shop. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember their name. I'm so bad. Oh, um, Henry and, Ven and, and Genevieve is the Etsy shop. I have a ton of patches for them because they do a lot of Disney patches, which are really cool. Um, I will link them below. They get a lot of orders, so they often run out and take breaks to catch up on orders, but they're wonderful. They're so sweet. If you can manage to, to catch them when they're selling, I highly, highly recommend. So the first couple that I have are this one that says no touchy, and it, she actually heals on my right. Um, most service dogs heal on the left, but I prefer my dog heal on the right. It's just a personal preference of mine. So since she's on my right, her right side faces outward towards the public. So that's why I have this big no touchy sign on the outside of her vest to where people will be seeing it the most. Um, and then I have a patch that says, you distracted the service dog, dishonor on you, dishonor on your family, dishonor on your cow. I'm sorry if it's backwards. I hope it's not, but it, it very well might be. Um, and then going ahead down the center, it says, I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm here to do my job. Can I pet your wheelchair? Says no one. And then service dog, ignore me. I'm working. It's not nice to stare. And then no time to chat. Do not distract with an Alice in Wonderland white rabbit. And this um, patch is actually glittery. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, um, it's glittery, but it has a plastic sheen over it so none of the it's not textured it's not gonna come off um, that same texture is found on the left side um, this one says I keep her face from hitting the floor and then this is service dog do not pet in um, Disney font so this is her vest I absolutely love it I will probably use this vest for every service dog I have maybe not this one specifically but that oh my gosh I'm making so much noise that's kind a vest and then some of the other patches I have I'll show you the Henry and Genevieve ones first I keep them in the little um, package that they came in so I don't lose them that's Mushu if you can hear him he's a very loud puppy um, let's see here. not all of these are from Henry and Genevieve but quite a few of them are this is another um, uh, what is it called? Emperor's New Groove one. So it says, you threw off my groove. Don't throw off my groove. Do not distract. Um, this one I used to use more often and then I realized it's kind of hard to read it because it's going all, all which directions. So it says, the human world is a mess. I help her be part of your world task trained. And it's obviously Little Mermaid themed. And then... This one I also believe is from Genevieve, or Henry and Genevieve, but I'm not a thousand percent certain. Um, it says, I'm her personal healthcare companion. And it was originally, the background is originally red, but I requested that it be purple because purple is my favorite color. So there's that one. Um, I have a couple of these. These ones, one of these I got from Amazon, the other one. I got, I have no idea what Etsy shop it's called, but I'll try to link it below. This one's from Amazon. It says access required by law, no exceptions. And then this is a holographic paw print with a semicolon on it. And that, if you don't know, uh, is the semicolon project. It is for suicide and self-harm um, awareness and um, advocacy. So there's that one. This I have no idea where I got it from. I'll try to find it if I can. Um, it says, talk to the booty. This fluff is on duty. It has little stars, so I think that one's cute. Let's see, this one says, uh, is in, this one's from Mulan, so it's a, another Mushu one. If you can't tell, we love Mushu in this house. So much so that we named a freaking dog after him. Uh, it says, ESA, say that to my face, you limp noodle. So, that one I just, I, I find funny. 
I, I humor myself in many small ways, but yeah, I am losing sunlight very quickly. I am so sorry about the lighting. Um, and this is another service dog one. It's just a service dog. It doesn't say don't pet. Obviously, if you can read. If you can't, I'm so sorry. I'm describing it to you. Um, and then this one's in white, which I am not the biggest fan of patches that have a white background because service dogs are out and about a lot and they get dirty and they get their vest dirty and they bump into something that scuffs something and blah blah blah. But I love these patches so much that I keep them and I use them. I used them a lot when I went on my honeymoon to Disney World. Um, so this one it says, I'm just a service dog helping her find her own adventures in Wonderland. And this one's quite large. So this one is from Henry and Genevieve. This one, how I would do it is I would literally just make one of the one of the side panels this. So instead of two patches, it would be one. Um, so with these bigger ones, um, which makes sense because they're a little bit more intricate. So to be able to see the details and the words, you kind of have to make them a little bit bigger. Um, along those same lines is this one from another one from Alice in Wonderland, and this is the Cheshire Cat. So it says, service dog, I'm the best weapon in her war against disability. And there's the Cheshire Cat. The Alice in Wonderland movie is my favorite Disney movie. I love it. It's so much fun. Um, a couple of other ones that are random. I have this holographic one that says, no touch, no talk, no eye contact, no kissy noises, no photos. And it is pretty holographic color. I might end up having to turn this lamp on. I don't want to, but. Um, and then these, this one says service dog, do not separate from handler. I think this one is from Amazon along with this one, the not all disabilities are visible. Uh, I watch a lot of service dog channels and I see that, that patch on quite a few. Um, a couple of more, we're almost done with the patches. I think I'm gonna have to turn the lamp on. Um, this one says, my service dog is smarter than your honor roll student. I love this patch so much. I think it's so funny. And then we are a team forever. So that one, that one's cute. And then these few, I like them, but I don't recommend them. I don't really use them often because these are more vinyl stickers. This one isn't. This is, this one is, it says, it is a felony to harass a service dog. And this is sewed in. But these ones, they're actually, if you can tell, they're stickers. And they can, they actually come off, not easily, but not not easily either. It's not hard to get them to rub off. I think one of these, actually, it can, yeah. So this one, the, the, the question mark period little dot came off the first day that I got this patch. So, which is okay. That happens. I just, if you have a... A service dog and you're looking for some patches I would kind of veer against the sticker ones um, just in case they they aren't as reliable as the sew on ones so and then I just have your handy dandy service dog do not pet um, I have two of these actually and there I'm gonna turn this lamp on give me one second that made the lighting I don't know if that helped. That probably made it worse. Mushi, can you please shut up? Thank you. Okay, so that's pretty much it as far as patches go. I want to eventually get one of those books, like Velcro books, and stick them all in there to make it easier. Um, but till then, they're just out and about. Um, as far as collars go, she has a few collars because she's spoiled rotten. This one I actually got on our honeymoon. It's the one that she's been wearing lately. Um, it's Disney themed. It's got all your classic Disney characters on it. I probably should be filming this tomorrow instead. But this is what you get, folks. I know. I'm, I'll promise I'll stop talking about the lighting one day. Today's just not that day. Um, this is another one I love. Um, I got it before we went on our honeymoon for the honeymoon. Um, I got this on Etsy. I will link that below. Um, and it's an Alice in Wonderland one. It's super cute. Absolutely love it. Um, and then this I got, I think from Petco. She was due for a new collar. So it has these pink roses. And then on the inside it has this pink checkered pattern. 
And it also has her tags on it, because I haven't swapped her tags over to the new collar. Because I'm an amazing handler. Yeah. Um, she also has a light-up collar. Um, I haven't used it yet. It's pink. Because it's cute. It's like a pink purple. But mostly pink, honestly. Um, and it also flashes. Slowly and then off. Um, I actually haven't used this yet um, because I don't leave very much and even when we were at our honeymoon um, at night there was kind of a, a lot of lights and there wasn't really a big need for the light up color but if ever we're going out in the dark and I feel as though she needs a little bit more light on her I'll put that. Um, moving on to kind of some miscellaneous, oh I guess we'll move on to leashes. So, aside from the um, short hand leash that she has, uh, I got this when we were at Disney as well. Um, it is Winnie the Pooh themed. It's got Tigger, Pooh, Eeyore, um, Piglet. I almost forgot Piglet's name. Oh my gosh. And it's super cute. I also love Winnie the Pooh. Um, my late father, the, my first Halloween costume onesie was a little Winnie the Pooh onesie and um, he also put me in a bumblebee onesie so bumblebee and Winnie the Pooh are definitely associated with my dad so I love them so much and then I also have boots and socks for her um, a lot of people ask me when I'm out and about what uh, shoes she wears and where do they get them I use rough wear shoes and socks um, these are the Summit Trex dog boots. These are just the regular ones, the ones that you kind of want to use for like your just basic street walking or maybe light hiking, things like that. But they're not really meant for snow. They're not really meant for rain. Um, they're good in those conditions, but they're not meant for those conditions. But they have shoes that are for like Summit winter snow shoes that I'll be getting her when we move. So, but right now while I'm in the desert and it never snows, she uses these ones. And what I love, 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 love about Rough Wear is you get them sold in a pack of two because if you don't know this, or if you've never measured your dog's feet, the front feet are always ever so slightly bigger than the back feet. So her original shoes, when I was measuring them, they were out of her back feet. So you can see her standing, hello. They were out of her back foot size, so I got her four of the front foot size, and the back ones were always loose. So they do sell them in, in um, pairs of twos, but they run out of stock pretty easily, especially in, in this size. So if you want to know, her front feet are two and a half inches, which it'll tell you right there at the top, and then her back feet are 2.25 inches. So they're literally a quarter of an inch apart but it makes a huge difference. Um, the only thing I will say that, at least in my experience, is difficult when it comes to shoes with dogs is she has wide husky feet and skinny German Shepherd legs. So if I'm trying to keep the shoe on, I have to tighten it to the point where her dew claw will get chafed. And then it'll start bleeding and then I feel like a horrible person so um, I got some socks and these actually make a world of difference. If you can't get socks or if you don't like socks for whatever reason, I the only downside to socks is it, it makes them hotter because they have more things covering their feet because dogs a lot like release sweat and heat through their paws. But um, I if I don't feel like using socks because it's extra hot that day, I just get an ace bandage wrap and I just wrap around her dew claw just a couple of times. You don't want it to be too bulky, but that way it, it puts a layer between the shoe itself, <laughs> there's no shoe, uh, the shoe itself and her dew claw so that the rubbing doesn't happen and it prevents chafing. So if you can't get your hands on socks or if it's too hot for socks or whatever reason, um, definitely try an ace bandage wrap. Um, you don't need to use the whole thing. Like I said, I only wrap it a couple of times and it definitely protects those dew claws. So that is that. Um, I also, if you have a Husky and you haven't heard of the Furminator brush, 
This is the brush that I use. She is currently blowing her coat. She blows her coat two to three times a year and she creates a whole nother dog out of her fur. So um, I use this brush for the majority of her brushing purposes. It is a long, tedious task, but it really, really gets that undercoat. It has these little tiny bristles, I guess you could say, and then you can push this button to release the hair that gets caught. So push it, take the hair off, you keep going. You do that for about six hours and there you go. You do it again in four months. It's, it's a great, great time. Um, and then for a little portable water bowl, I just have your standard collapsible bowl. I have like three of these lying around. Collapses, uncollapses. You can find these literally anywhere. Um, but of course, I'll link everything. <clears throat> um, next up, kind of getting towards the end. This is another product by Ruffwear, and as you can see, it's been chewed by my lovely Chihuahua. So there's little, little holes in it, literally all over the place. But um, this is their um, Ruffwear cooling vest. They have a couple of cooling vests. Um, I think there's two, and I've tried both of them. And this is the more expensive one. I think it's more expensive by like $20, $30, something like that. But I do notice that this one stays cooler longer than the other one does. Uh, I really do like these cooling vests. I will find that they do dry and warm up pretty quickly. So I pair this with something else that I'm going to show you. But they are even, even when they're not wet, they are cool to the touch ever so slightly and then when when you wet them of course they cool down quite a bit but um, what I do is when I'm out and about and I put this on her underneath her vest so her vest will lay on top of this and then I'll, I'll loosen her vest because this is gonna take up you know a little bit of bulk it's not super thick it's rather thin but it definitely does take up some space so I don't want her vest to be too tight on her so what I'll do is I'll put this underneath and then about every, I would say, on an active, like I'm out and about, um, I'm, I'm walking around Disney World, I'm, walking, I'm going hiking, something like that. Um, I just get a water bottle and I fill it up. And about every 20 minutes or so, I would say I need to just put water on it. The, ver the first time you do it, you want to wring it out. So you don't want it to be soaking wet the entire, like all of the time. Um, you kind of want it to be on the more damp side, but... I then pour water on it to re-wet it and it works just fine so I should not have let you guys be in here um so yes I definitely recommend these I wish it last the the moisture stayed in and a little bit longer but there's only so much you can do which is why I pair it with these these are cooling cloths that I also got on Amazon these are actually meant for humans but I use them for me and her, and basically it, it works this, it's the same cloth, same technology. This one actually I, I find stays cooler longer though. <laughs> you can see in the back. Those are so funny. I should just have you guys on the bed. Amora, come on, come here. Why, why didn't I do that this whole time? That's beautiful. Like, why didn't I do that? Um... So these are the same, they, these come in several different kinds of material, but um, that's what it looks like. It's quite, it also unfolds one more time, so it's quite long. And I just actually wrap the, wrap, I wet this and then I wrap it around her neck so that her neck also stays cool. And um, yeah, I, I use it for me as well, but mainly for her. Cause she's got a lot of fur, she needs to stay cool, you know? Okay, and then for rain because it was actually raining when we were on our honeymoon in Florida so that was fun and in New Hampshire it rains here in the desert it doesn't rain I mean it rains during the monsoon season monsoon season which is about two months out of the year maybe three it rains but it's nothing nothing crazy nothing that I've ever had to buy her a raincoat for but for the trip I got this raincoat on Amazon and I'll try to insert some footage of her wearing, like I'll, I'll have her wearing the vest and the cooling vest and all that so you can kind of see how it fits. But it has 
a little pocket here on the top of it that you can put things in if you so please. And it, it lays pretty well. It's a pretty thick material and it works really well. Water does not see through this. It, it bounces right off. And it even has a little hood and then it has a hole right above the neck, which I find it actually doesn't line up that well on her. It's a little bit far back, but it's nothing too, too bad. And then there are some drawstrings that you can tighten um, the part around here so that it stays up. And then it also has a belly strap, which is way too big for her because she's a very long dog and I wanted it to cover almost all of her, which it does. And the belly strap does not fit her at all. And it also has these two things in here, which I think her feet, her legs are supposed to go through, but I really don't know, so don't quote me. Um, but it's nice. It's It was great. It did its purpose. She didn't like having it on, but she also hates the rain, so what can you do about it? And then along the similar line, um, this is the life jacket that I have for her. I actually got this at PetSmart. Um, oh, I didn't know that. It literally has a compass on it. That is so cool. That's pretty dang cool. Um, it has a big old D-ring on it. It has two handles that are pretty sturdy. It is disgusting green color. I don't really like it, but whatever. It's not the end of the world. Um, it has a front strap, a couple of bottom straps that would go here, and then it also has Velcro. So that's what I really like is it's not only held together by belly straps, but Velcro as well. And this brand is Arcadia Trail. I can try to link it below. It works really, really well. Homegirl stays afloat. She's 70, 80 pound shepherd and she, she stays up. So it works really well. It fits well. Just hate the color. But if you don't hate that color, 10 out of 10 recommend. And then last but not least, um, this is the cooling pad that I have for her. It's a, it's a very similar material to the cooling vest. Um, same, same situation. You wet it and then it'll be cool. I, I originally had one where you don't need to wet it. You just, she sits on it. It's over there actually. Um, it's really heavy, which is why I don't really want to lift it, but, um, it's one of those gel like activated ones so where she, she lays on it and then it, it gets cool. But for when I'm outside and say I'm like at a pool or at a beach or something like that, I can wet this and then have her lay on it. And it actually has these little silicone little circles that kind of give it some grip. So um, it, it's not just a wet cloth slipping and sliding all over the place. Um, and this I also got on Amazon, I believe. So, but yeah, that was the very long, very, I hope it was fun. I thought it was fun. That is her service dog gear. Pretty much everything we use um, on a daily basis with her. And uh, any recommendations that you guys have for any of this or uh, I wanted to give some list of things that I find have really worked especially having a big girl like her but yeah I think I think that's about it you want to say goodbye Mara? No, nah, I'm sleeping so leave me alone what are you doing with your life look at those big ears you're an elf that's what you are you know that you're an elf <laughs> but anyway um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am, again, sorry about the lighting, but that's just be how it be. Um, if you guys could like and comment, let me know what other things you guys like to see now that I'm hopefully going to have time to post more. You are just the queen of the world, aren't you? You really are. You're so pretty. <laughs> Your ears so funny. What do you see? Someone walking outside. You're so cute. Um, but yes, please comment any, any videos that you guys would like to see. Do you want to say hi, Goose? Um, and let me know, um, because I definitely want to be doing more videos, and I'm also going to, um, start doing videos when I get this new puppy that I'm going to be training. Can you come here, Goose Goose? Come here. Oh, can I say hi? Say hi! You don't get to, you're supposed to say hi. All these dogs with big ears. I don't know what I did. He looks like a little Dobby. You're just, you're so funny. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Well, I will stop dilly dallying. Oh my Jesus. Okay. I didn't. I didn't ask. I didn't ask. I really didn't. All right. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.